Hey everyone, it's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I am planning on doing that more often, pretty much almost every Wednesday. Anyways, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a story time video. It's going to be a very interesting story because I was just hanging out with this person, my best friend, my other best friend, and then my cousin, who's a guy. Okay, this is the story about how me and my cousin liked each other. Yeah. <sighs> story starts back in fifth grade, which would have been 2015 to 2016, because that's when I was in fifth grade. And I sat next to this guy, and me and him were like becoming really good friends because we like sat next to each other. Small thing. I used to like that guy, and it was really cringy <laughs> because I liked him for like five years. And then, yeah. He invited me to play this game, Clash of Clans, with him. <laughs> and when we started playing the game, I was like, my mom's never going to let me play this game. But if my crush, who was the guy that I sat next to, was on it, then she'd let me. And I told her that. And then she's like, of course you can. And I don't know. My friend left her necklace. That's depressing. I'll give it back to her. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I swear to God. I'll fix it. <laughs> oh, fun fact. I like this guy, and he gave me this, which, this acorn, which I thought was like the cutest thing, because like, he's like, here, have an acorn, and I'm just like, like, I don't know why I thought it was so cute, but it really was. I joined the game with the guy I liked, one of his other friends. We started playing the game, and I had to like save up to join a clan. I remember like how long it took. How angry I got because like I was texting him like, hey, how do I join your clan? And he's like, you gotta wait like a little bit and like, eh. I finally was able to join it and then this guy joined it and me and him talked a lot and like he was like super nice and I'm like, wow, he's like really nice. And like I'd never met someone like online. So it was like kind of weird. And I asked him if like he actually knew the guy that I actually liked. The guy sat next to me. I'm gonna call him Michael. Yeah, Michael. Michael, the guy I liked. I asked the guy online, which we'll call him Adam. Adam was online. And we texted a lot and I'm like, Hey Adam, do you actually know Michael like in real life? And he was like, Yeah, I do and he's like super gay, super chill and stuff and like so like we were talking, he's like yeah, you mean everything to me. And like, I was just like, whoa, I actually met like a really nice guy. Me and that guy really wanted me like super badly. Michael told me, hey, um, I'm going to this festival, which up here we have this festival called Bliss Fest. And it's, it's really fun, especially if you go like every year. I'm like, oh, sweet, I'm gonna be going there too. We both decided to meet up there. And he told me like, hey, my friend Adam's gonna be there. And I'm like, wait, the Adam from like the clan? And he's like, yeah, that Adam. I'm like, oh my God, I get to meet him. I get to meet a guy that I actually really like and hang out with another guy that I really like. But then I was losing feelings for Michael and I was gaining feelings for Adam. When I got to Bliss Fest, it was in the summer, summer of going into middle school because I went to a private school and Michael was moving to the main middle school of like our town and I was staying at the private middle school and Adam was going to the middle school so I was walking around Bliss Fest with my mom looking for Michael and I see this like short little kid next to him. I like kind of looked at him. It was actually Adam. And I was like, okay, so he's short. That's okay. I ended up hanging out with him later that night. I don't remember much of what happened that night. What I do remember is um, the next morning, they were gonna go play disc golf. We decided to go to the kids' tent first because there's this tent where little kids go and stuff. But that's just where we were gonna meet up. Adam was there and so was Michael. When I got there, this like lady with like really pretty blue eyes came up to me and I'm like, I kind of recognized her just a little bit. Comes up to me and she's like, oh, hey, Lauren. And I'm like, hey, do I know you? And she's like, yeah, I'm your aunt. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. And she's like, yeah, I'm cousins with your grandma and your mom. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, yeah, I'm Adam's mom. And I'm like, okay. Um, 
And Michael, you should have seen the look on his face. He just started bursting out laughing. Me and Adam were just like, what? <laughs> Later that day, we went to disc golf. It was really awkward because like, I had no one to hang out with because like, I'm socially awkward. And, like, no one likes me. and I was sitting on this rock. We were talking and then they were making fun of me and Adam. And I'm just like, shut up. Cause like, since we went to a Christian school, they're like, oh, that's a bad word. I'm like, does it look like I care? And that was the first time I also said shut up in fifth grade. But good thing me and Adam got past that and we're actually really good friends now. He's like my best friend. It's just a fun story to tell. I wanted to share that with you guys. Now, Adam and one of my best friends has a thing, so it's like really fancy to see them together. So it's just, aw. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to my story. This was really fun. If you guys have any suggestions for new videos, I could really use them. And just thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button. I'd be very thankful to this channel because like, it's new, and I only have like 25 subscribers. Yeah, and like the video if you like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!